All right, people, we got Mitch back in the in the in the seat here. Back, in baby, the, in the hot seat. Mitch is coming off a hot win. Celebrating of uh, God, which one was it? Raccoon Cup sixty. Do we see? We can't see. That's not in here. Once you get in the game, you can. I think. Yeah. Okay. So Mitch won. You won the Raccoon Cup. It's like about 60, 65 people, sixty four people. In my that. third, my third Raccoon Cup. Three time winner. This is the hat trick. Mm-hmm. But this one now we're casting. So yeah, we're gonna look at the semifinal game. Yeah, so I thought that was a really interesting game. And then also the final game. So this is gonna be a two parter. So you can st- stay tuned for both. Yeah. And get there. So we're gonna should we look at it from your perspective? If that makes yeah, sense. Yeah. Sure. So um okay, let's make sure this is all good. Okay. All right. So this is okay. Looks like so. Lasticot uh, bans Mercenary first. Uh, Lasticot's a player we used to play with on yeah. WCO, mm-hmm. War Chest Online, and he probably s- still plays there, maybe. I don't know. But glad to see him on Board Game Arena. Yeah, he was one of the first names I recognized when I started playing. Yeah. Well, nice guy. I like him. Yeah. All those CDC people are nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So we got to uh, enlist and spy and sacrifice for the decrees here. Yeah, so Harold obviously cares about decrees. But they're not real abuse skills for him. Yeah. Sacrifice can be a double hit. That's always pretty good. I was talking, me and Noah were talking about this, uh, same same exact situation, about how these decrees are weak, right? But I say, actually, I like that Enlist and Spy are ones you can use any time. That's true. You yeah. know, so yeah. they, like, March you can is always better. always guarantee, yeah. And the power you get out of March to March redeploy. Is better, yeah. But a spy, you can just always use it and yeah. not really care that much. Like, yeah. you just need a herald to move, and a list is good, too. So I think there's, like, a, it's a double-sided coin there. Yeah. Um, anyway, but... No, that's a good point, yeah. Always herald is, you know, a unit that is to be watched. Yeah. And it, it does help you, uh... <laughs> it can help you, uh, break up the, um... Like if you're stuck in the beginning, you right? Know? Yeah, Harold can. Yeah, the Harold and, and Spy is prime. You can like yeah. screw them up and get off the the point right yeah. away. And an enlist is something you'd want to use early on, anyways. If I mean, you know, you yeah. can use it early on. It makes sense. So yeah, so not the worst Harold ones, but not you know the game changers like <clears throat> March can be, like redeploy can be. All right, so he bans mercenary. The best unit now is probably warrior priest and Harold. Right. He's picking first. Yeah. You don't want to give him Warrior yeah. Priest, so you're going to have to ban there's, him. There's not. I mean, Crossbow you can kind of mess with, but like, you know. Yeah. Right. What do you ban here, I think? Uh, warrior Priest. Yeah. Okay. Now he's going to first pick. I'd pick Harold here. That's what I would pick. Okay. Okay. He might pick. I mean, Bishop's a good pick. And I was... Tr- any other pick but those two, I'd be, I'd be a little bit weirded out by. There's not... I, I think it's important to note that after getting rid of uh, Warrior Priest and Mercenary... This is already kind of like a a, a high B tier game mm-hmm. as far as units. You know, mm-hmm. there's not going to be one unit that you know they're going to go into really hard. All, uh, um, all slow units. Yep. Yeah. Not not a lot of rushing down. Um, yeah. So it's going to be anticipating a game that's going to be pretty scrappy. You know, making the most of the units you got. And um, yeah, it, it's it's one of those games where it's not nothing's telegraphed at all right now. So you now are going to go bishop and. I'm, a bit, Sword, I'm always a big bishop. Man. Swordsman. <laughs> bishop swordsman is what you're going to go. Oh, well, crossbowman. Interesting. You're trying crossbow? You're trying to... You're undervaluing I've been, I've been playing it a little more now, lately. You're um, bringing it in? Yeah, well, because it was I was so bad at it, I tried, I tried to force myself to get better at it. But I do like it here, actually. Um, it, you know, it, it can slow down Harold a little bit if he's trying to go a little bit fast. Sure, um, yeah, yeah. And it's just... It's a, you know, it's a dangerous unit. Interesting. You can make a case for both. In a game with a lot of slow units, crossbow is pretty good because... It's harder to get to it. Yeah. Right. No cavalry is jumping mm-hmm. in, and at the same time, uh, in a world of slow units, the swordsman getting free movements makes it a little faster. Yeah. It, I mean, swordsman would be a really good. It'd be probably the best late game unit here. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, besides maybe footman if you're gonna do that. Archer. He takes the early archer here, which you're gonna find out is important. We, I think, all three of us that mm-hmm. do this cast hate archer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's it's it, in this case too. Well, either way, a lancer or archer, you're gonna be saddled with, but. Bishop Marshall has no synergy with with Archer or Lancer, right? Yep. So him now you can force him to take Marshall by taking Footman Lancer, and mm-hmm. then he would just be stuck with the Marshall that can't affect the Archer, which yep. feels pretty bad. Um, and you did do that, so yeah, now you got a, exactly. you, you have a clean hand. <clears throat> yeah, a clean I mean, that's, hand. That's pretty much the exact hand I want. This is perfect too because you immediately get a recruit off the Bishop. Yep. Yeah. And that's real sexy. Yeah, I, I've I've said before. I think maybe I overvalue Bishop, but I think Bishop is it's one of my favorite units for sure. I love 
I mean, the, having to, the ability to recruit and move, recruit and attack is actually, I mean, you know, we always talk about you don't want to over recruit. You don't have to recruit always. Maybe sometimes it's best to pass. And you can you can do a bishop pass. That's fine. Feels weird. Sure but yeah. especially in the early game, um, or if you're switching into bishop, if bishop is bolstered off, moving and recruiting like that is is huge. Mm-hmm. So I, I really like it. And then, yeah, the bolster game. I mean, especially when people are doing small bags and you have a bishop and they're not <laughs> bolstered and they can't bolster. You know, it's... It's got strengths. So I, I went. I, I was expecting him to deploy something, but instead he recruited <laughs> Archer first. So I gotta say, I, I literally took a picture of this the the first move of the game, recruit Archer, and I sent it to Alex and Noah because I I find it unusual. And you know the way that we maybe undervalue or just don't like Archer. I was like, okay. I mean, the, number one, it kind of signifies he's gonna go heavy into Archer. Why else would you do it? Um, but also, I'm already thinking, okay, I'm going to have to probably answer this in a different way than normal. I mean, I, 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 could, we, could we undervalue Archer? I mean, it's, it's possible. <laughs> Maybe. It's possible, but I will. It, it, it's objectively the worst unit. Like, based on win yeah. rates, yeah. It, it, we've, their stats. Yeah. The person who has Archer in their team, that team is less it's, likely to win. Yeah, it's the base game's trebuchet. It's, yeah, it's, it's, the, it's the worst unit. It's the worst unit. It should almost always be last pick. I say almost always. It's like ninety eight percent of the time. There's very rare yeah. cases where, like, oh, Archer's actually maybe you counter Berserker with you know. I don't yeah. even want to get into it. Yeah. It's not good. No. Um. So I'm curious. You know, in la- in this case, Lasticot, he picked it. You know, th- third in his third <clears throat> pick, right? Yep. So it's not like a high pick, but the fir- the recruit first. I'm curious what that says. Yeah. Like his hand has an Archer in it, so he's going to deploy it now for sure. Yeah, and I never actually went back in the replay to see what his hand was, but I I mean I have to think that the the Archer, and you'll see he goes into it pretty heavy, pretty quick. Okay, so he does deploy it. Yeah. So he's like, he he's got some idea where he's gonna like I don't know I don't really know anything about it. I don't get it. I mean, even looking at like this side, what are you gonna do with it? You know, you, you I guess you put it here. I mean, I think ideally you want it one down from what you just drew here. If you get an archer there, that's a very strong archer. Well, yeah. Because you're threatening two points of mine. You can control that point. It's it's really strong to have an archer there. It's just. <laughs> It sucks to have an archer. Yeah, it, it's so difficult. But I will say, like, when I realize quickly that he's going to go into archer, it does make me change my strategy because it's it's hard to deal with a solo archer without just chasing him all over the map. Here's one of the one of the many problems with archer is you bolster your bishop. Yeah. And so archer's sitting over here, and he's like, "Yep, I got this covered. I got this covered. What are you going to do?" And you just take a hit. That's what you do. Mm-hmm. You, you bolster your bishop and you just go into the archer's path and he hits you. And then yeah. you go here and now that's it. Yeah, and especially against a bishop, he could never... <laughs> if he ever bolsters that archer again, you can just never hit him. So that's problematic. And I definitely could have done that, but I, I actually don't try to go into bishop more than once, I think. Okay. So the uh, battle lines have been drawn. You're recruiting a crossbow here? Oh, Lancer. Oh, yeah, you want to put pressure on this archer. Yeah. Yeah, Lancer almost is like a counter to Archer, if you want to say that. Like, pretty tough. I What I wanted to make sure I didn't do, I didn't want to lose too many bishop chips to Archer. That's my thought first. Mm-hmm. I thought, I'll start putting pressure on him. Like, I don't care if he starts taking points. I, don't, I want to put some pressure on him. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. Do some work. So nothing too out of the ordinary here so far. Yep. He, yeah, I mean, he just bolters him off right away. Bolters huh? off. He's just he's like this side is. I'm done with this side. I'm going. Archer is going to cover this side. I mean, I, I'm I'm looking at this going. You know, he's doing he's doing shrooms in this game. <laughs> Well, I mean, like, this this side is not covered. Like, you can't just go yeah. solo archer here and say, and, I, I'm going to cover these spots. Like we talked about just a little bit ago. I mean, you know, you got you got the flexibility to, to move him with coin, to move Harold with coin mm-hmm. off the point. You can you can activate Harold rather quickly, but, yeah, I mean, it's... That's a statement right there. That's an absolute statement. Yeah, now you're three you're three pieces deep on this absolutely fragile side with archer trying to hold. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's, it's going to collapse, right? I mean... Yeah. I'm in the first the first opener here, going ah, uh, my money's on Mitch here, because his even I mean Archer recruit first. He's got two. Re- oh, well, no, he's recruited once. Yeah, 
the positioning here is all bad. It's all gunked up. Yeah, it's not it's not amazing for me either. But I'm like, you know, I'm thinking, okay, what's it? I mean, what's he gonna do here? Just push forward because then I can push my bishop. You know, like I don't I don't really see a great move for his archer here. So I feel pretty good mm -hmm. at this moment. Mm -hmm. And then especially if I can get my crossbow over there on uh, the point to the upper right, it's like. Okay, so and then he then he's he goes all in. all in, and I'm like, actually, honestly, at this point, I'm a little worried because I I haven't played against a small bag archer that much because it just doesn't happen. You know, I mean, have you ever had a guy full small bag archer? No, I don't think so. And so I, I knew there was some inexperience on my side from that. I've played against people who go into archer, but I haven't played against a real small bag archer, so I was a little worried. So you're getting a little bishop. I get a little bishop. I want to, you know, I want to try the bolster game. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have to. He bolsters him off. <laughs> yep. What are you going to do here? Bolster? Bolster. I think that's correct. Yeah, you can't move you know, the archer's range. So well, you're... the thing is also, I know, I know that he will not bolster that archer. You know, he's, There's no way he's going to do that. Because, yeah, bishop. Yeah, and so, again, it just puts him in a really hard spot here where, mm -hmm. you know, it, what, what's he going to do? Because he, if he's going to put himself open to one lance hit, he he's can't, dead. It's, he can't do anything is the thing. He can't go here. He can't go here. Because you'll just move the bishop up. I mean, I guess he could go here, but then then what? You know? Yeah. You can take that point, keep covering this forever. Honestly, I, ex I expect I expect him to go right. Here. That's what I, yeah. That's what I was thinking. I mean, you gotta be, you gotta be using these chips. Right. Exactly. <laughs> that's the other thing with Archer. Like you're holding the chips. Yeah. You you're passing. You're waiting. And if this is your whole, your whole temple's Archer, you gotta be using your chips right now. He just moves up. He does. I mean, he just moves up. It's not exactly what you want to be doing with Archer, but that's what you have to do when you have Archer small bag. I mean, you're on from his perspective, you're on a five bag, mm -hmm. and you have two bishop coins. Yeah. So you're, I mean, you're you're pretty likely to have one. Yeah. Assuming he's got an Archer in hand, right? Yeah. Now. He's got Archer, Archer. He, I mean, it's pretty lucky for him to have that. Well. Okay. Well, you move up. Yeah. And. Um, Yeah, you recruit across when moved up. Okay, now what do you do with your archer? Can't bolster him. You back up to the to the top right point now, I guess. So this this was a important decision. I mean, he had you know. Why not go to the to why not go to this spot? Why not go here? Why go back all the way? I'm curious about that. Why is this better than just going back here? I don't know. At least here you can do something with your next chip. Yeah, I mean, I guess. In theory, you know, if I had a Lancer as my last chip, I could threaten him with it if he moves there. And top, I can't threaten him yet. But then again, you know, if you were to shoot me, <laughs> I could I could kill him. I mean, again, I like I like my position here, but this was a hard choice for me. Now you have a coin. Because I really I really wanted... I knew I was going to for sure draw a bishop next turn. <clears throat> I really wanted that point. Like, yeah. really, really, really badly. Because so it's... You're talking about initiative here. Yeah, because once you take a point, it's so hard for Archer to ever flip a point. Mm-hmm. Yeah, cause because he can't, you just he, he walk gets got, He's got to go near it, yeah. and you can spawn somebody there, yeah. and then he can't take it anymore. It's, like, impossible. So I, I do decide to make sure I get this point because it's just, you know, again, what's he going to do then over there? So you take initiative, yeah. I take initiative. And now, like, no matter. He draws his archer, but you drew your bishop. Yeah, so, so I just gonna control. Just, you're just going to control here. He really should be on a point there. He really should be. He should be on that right point. Yeah, I mean, again, I, I think that probably would have been the better move, but, I you know, maybe so he did So now, now he shoots. Yeah. Yep. Ping. So, so he, he shoots, but now look at the situation also. He has no more archers He has left. no more archers. He's got one swordsman and a coin. A swordsman, yeah, I mean, I, I guess if I'm him, I'm not super hating this. Except for you can, eh. I mean, I don't hate his position super bad here. It's not the worst. Like, you're, his swordsman, okay, and you're, you're not threatening his archer yet. So... You go right there. It's interesting that you did that, actually. I wouldn't have gone there. You go one down. Well, because you're now you can't deploy your bishop here again. Yeah. And I, I don't I don't want to deploy the bishop over there anymore. Mm, sure. I'm just I'm just literally thinking of phasing out of the side. Sure. That's so fine. now I th I threaten I threaten his bishop. I can literally bolst triple bolster the uh, lancer off. Deploy bishop out here and mm. just and then just try to win this side because again he's full bag into that you know like. Mm -hmm. What's he going to do? Shoot three times, move twice, and take my point? <laughs> like, hmm. 
It's pretty gross. But also, you know, I <coughs> it's, it's. I mean, I don't agree with you because this is his weak side. Like, you can easily take these two points if you deploy a unit here that's active, you know? Well, it's also hard to deploy an unbolstered unit when Archer's sitting there. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Sure. All right, mister. What do you got? <laughs> okay. So he's really going in an Archer. Yeah. He's, he's four-bag Archer all in. So, and I mean, you'll see... I. I move where I think is I think is absolutely right the right play. It's where I wanted to be the whole time with my crossbowmen. My favorite spot to have crossbowmen on the map. Aye. So now th this is this is the moment, Lasticot. If you're watching, I gotta know, man. I gotta know. He's got a coin here. This is coin. This is this is coin. I understand. I can whiff on this. I. It's actually when I was recounting the story. It's a, it's a it's a worse chance than I. It's a you know I can absolutely whiff on this lancer. Well, but you, gotta, yeah. but look at your board state. You got six chips. If you draw a Lancer and kill his Archer, he can't even deploy him again. Without, I mean, again, like, he can get the coin and he can take, which, which, you know, that's that's a thing. But, like, look at his board state if his Archer's off of it. If he takes initiative now, he can move his Archer to here. Or here. Well, yeah, probably here. Save. Yeah. He also, I suppose, uh, well... Yeah, I mean, he can't, he can't go to the one to his bottom left because that's where my crossbow is threatening, but like... What I think he should do here, I don't know why he's going all in Archer with and bolstering everything, but he should use this coin to enlist. Enlist two swordsmen and move this guy, like, here. And that way, when you kill his Archer, he'll be able to redeploy it, and then he'll have an active swordsman. Yeah, there are things you can do. I wonder what he's going to do. I, sorry, I, I was thinking about where I was going to put it, I think, a couple times. But I decided there. I accept your apology. <laughs> he just passes with it. See, I think this is... I mean, Lasticot, you got to chime in on what was going on I here. really want to hear from you. I want to hear your side. You're, you're a great player. I, I feel like... Confusing moves here. Well, I, I feel like the risk that you took right here is just... It doesn't... There's no benefit from like not making sure that you don't lose your archer here. Well, And, I, and also, what's the... What's the idea with an all-in archer? I would love to hear that too. It's got it's got no legs. Yeah. No backup? Yeah. So I luck out. You got it. I got it. And now <laughs> now he's I mean it's just it's Yeah, uh, I mean it's interesting. I mean I, he now he activates enlist. See that this should have been last turn because I mean I guess it's equivalent. Because now he'll get to move. Oh, he's look, he does exactly what I said he should Yeah, do. but look at my hand. <laughs> I feel so bad. Yeah. <laughs> like. I mean, that's tough. Yeah, your hand is insane, actually. Yeah. It was it was by far the perfect draw. And, I, you know, I, like I said, there's a lot of luck in that. It was really lucky to draw the the Lancer. It was really lucky to have two crossbowmen. Mm. Um, mm. But, like, again, he can't even, he, you know, it's like, uh, it, it's such a bad situation. Yeah, this is a tough a tough spot for him. Now you can deploy your bishop to the right, which I love. Oh, you didn't? Did not. Okay, that's okay. I guess that side's completely empty, so you could run a mock over there. Okay. Spy. You're like, let me see this. You're like, I don't want your archer chip involved. Is that what you're saying? No, I don't want to kill my crossbowman. You did it. Bishop going hard. Okay. So far, so good. I do have a saggy bag this game. Big bag right now. You can you can you can slim it down though. Uh he did he takes initiative, right? He took initiative now yep. because he really wants to kill that crosswoman. Mm -hmm. Which is correct because you can take I mean take control of the yeah. location. And I just I would kill him, you know, and he, oh, yeah, and right. he couldn't and he couldn't replace it. I couldn't deploy it. He fires. Yeah. That's so that's, I mean, that was an important thing for him to do. Yeah. I, I would love him to get a Herald chip. I'm really going deep on Herald. This yeah, is my, yeah, my, my new thing yeah. now is going it's your jam. small bag Herald. That's, nice. I'm testing it out. I'm going to test it out. I'm not there yet, but I want it. All right, so you're going up to, to do, oh, you recruit another one. You're deep bag now. Yep. I'm, I'm big boy bishop now with a deep, deep bag. Yeah, but you'll bolster him. I'm also, yeah, deploying crossbowmen to, you know, that'll thin it out. 
passes. Love a good pass. It's the, uh... Oh, central archer. I do like this position for archer. Yeah. He's in a good spot. Covering a lot of ground. Oh, he's covering that. Can he take the shot? Oh, he does. He chooses not to take the shot. One. Why? Oh, here, take over. I'm gonna go check on Xander. <laughs> he's got a he's got a kid situation. So yeah, it's an interesting choice um, to not take the shot on the crossbowman. Um, I've not looked at his hand, but um, you know, I, I think uh, I think he thinks that he can actually get the win rather quickly on pressuring me here. Um, so he moved his bishop down. I take my point with the bishop. He's threatening this bishop, which I've also recruited a lot into. And so taking out that bishop is going to be very stress frustrating. I think that's its main motivation. Um, <clears throat> with bishop being a lot more active, theoretically, with how much I've recruited, killing my bishop would uh, hinder me, slow me down a lot more than the crossbowman, which is what he does. Another good play. I do a little bit of pondering. And I get my lancer, I think. Well, I think this is what I do. Yeah, so I get my lancer in a pretty good position here. Um, obviously, when I get him there, he does not have an active herald ship. We know he can coin um, any of these options to get... Uh, well, I guess he can't sacrifice, or he can't have sacrificed right now. So what you missed, um, the reason he was trying to move his archer over was to get rid of my bishop, which I had heavily recruited into. Oh, okay. Taking care of the bishop, bishop is obviously hindering me a lot more than getting rid of the crosswoman. Did he know you couldn't move or bolster him? Yep. Okay, okay. I nice. had all my bishops played. So I get my lancer in a pretty juicy sitch here. Yep. Um, vulnerable to a sacrifice. Oh, oh, double, yeah. A yeah. Double, double hit. But also it frees up this shot. Hmm. And he has no Herald Coins right now. So I'll let you resume. You're the... Oops. Because I do no, stuff no, like no, that. Don't hit no. What did I do? You didn't turn. It's okay. Yeah, that's why I'm not allowed to touch things. <laughs> okay. Coining up. Spy. Okay. So he's going to do a little single hit. Oh, he did a spy your thing out. Yep. He spies you out. Okay. And now he can hit your Lancer. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now you deploy your butthead. Fresh for the killing. Yeah. <laughs> to be called. Yep. And then he probably has the shot. He does have the shot. And then you have the lance. And I have the lance now. Wow, man. It's a, that's, this game is scrappy. I, I love that this is this turns into like a lancer archer game, which is that's which fun. is fun. That's fun, yeah. yeah. Maybe that's what he wanted the whole time. He bolstered off his swordsman again. Well, he's in. He's in swordsman. Oh no! Not right now. He's one. You're right. He bolstered off. My apologies. I you, forgot that I killed two of them earlier. You fire. Pop shot. But now look at the left side. Also, of the map. Left side is just gaped. He's just got. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but it is. It's absolutely gaped. He has. He has nothing active on the whole left side of the map. And you know where archers get employed. I want to make this. I want to make that a term. And look! Look what my lancer's threatening again. Gaped. Your lancer is. In full effect right now. He's just he's just the nastiest lancer. Oh, wait, wait he got oh he got he it. recruited. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Okay, that's a great move. Obviously, now your lancer has to fall back. But onto a point I want to take. Yep. No shame <clears> in that. <throat> no. Archer's back. No, he's gonna he's gonna be hard for him to protect that middle point. I go I go back fully into Lance oh. Indecision on my part. Hmm. Just playing it extra safe. Yeah. And then last I caught Scott. An archer coin. Archer desperately wants to be involved still. Mm-hmm. Pass. He's gotta try to stop your bishop. Yep. That's um that's looking like the way to win this game. He's got only two chips now. So he's gonna recruit a swordsman. Yeah. Or or a Herald. Herald, I believe. I mean that's what it's gonna be, but Herald be better. 
So I, I have the ability to take initiative, so you know it's looking like that bishop might be my home run. Take the other point I need. Got a herald. No need to worry about that side of the map. That's safe as hell. You just bolster everybody off. Okay, so now he's, he's guarding that point, but you can bolster first. And I have the initiative to take. So my bag is getting thinned down to where I want it to be. Mm. It's kind of an annoying this, draw. Well, this this is the... I mean, I win, basically. <laughs> with a with a bolster initiative taking a bishop walk in, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I suppose you're right. It's not... Because you're going to draw your bishops... Wait, all your bishops. Where are they all? This is my whole hand. Now this is my whole hand. I'm redrawing coin, and I have bishop and lancer. That's my that's my three big sacrifice. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's, it, he's it doesn't matter. He's at this covering point, that spot but, real good. You know? So I take initiative with the lancer. Order of operations matters. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. And then he moves archer there. <laughs> Interesting move. Yeah. I mean. I think he might have already said GG to me at this point. I mean, when you kind of know what's coming. Yeah. And then you move here, and then you just go. And then and you then got take it. And <clears throat> finish it off. Yeah, you know, that actually turned into a... Pretty scrappy uh, game. I mean, he never had any points taken at all. But, yeah, he, he did a good job at, at kind of yeah. when I, hindering when, you at the When end. I killed his archer, I, I, lit, I thought it was game over. I mean, I thought it was just like, okay, this is complete dumpster. Yeah. Um, and he made me... He put me into a lot of difficult situations where I had to make difficult choices. Um, and, you know, I I don't want to necessarily just lump this into, hey, look, Archer loses again. But, you know, I I, I've, I think I would have been more afraid of a different, yeah, a different unit being recruited earlier on in small bag. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I think... Archer didn't help. You know, it didn't help. Put him in a lot of awkward spots. It's, so I, I think actually this is a good... Because I actually told last Scott after this, I said, you, you did a really good job with Archer. Because, I mean, he, he got him in a lot of dangerous spots. He killed, you know, multiple bishops. Um, he killed a cross... You know, he, he, he did... He, you got kills. But this, this is what I'm saying. I think he did kind of the maximum amount you can do with an Archer in a game. Solo. <laughs> well, it's just... I, what I'm getting at is... I don't know what... Archer's maximum performance is in a game. Like, well, I mean, the thing with Archer is he, he needs to be behind people. He needs to be behind people, but he can't take points. Yeah, he like, can, he guards points. He yeah. doesn't. He can't be aggressive with. You got to be defensive. So yeah. Archer stays back and defends points yeah. and sits behind a knight, yeah. behind a swordsman. So you have to go around these like tougher dudes to get to him. Mm -hmm. If you're just going solo, Archer leading the path. I yeah. mean. He, he can't move forward because as soon as he moves forward, you move forward, mm -hmm. and then you're and then you're in him. That's the problem. I can't get to the next game. Um, I think if... Click choose player, just real quick. I think if you scroll down, they show the tournament bracket. I'm wrong. All right. I'll send it to you real fast. <clears throat> All right. Please pause. Like and... Um, give us a like and a share and a subscribe and a comment. Why don't, you give a, why don't you leave a comment? That'd be nice. Comments are great. That would be nice. I think I think all three of us would respond to every comment. Yeah, you get three responses <laughs> per, per comment. All right, so we'll get we'll, we'll go on to the final. That was the semifinals. That was the semifinals, and now we're gonna go to the finals.